Hello and welcome to my latest video on my top 100 heavyweight countdown. Now, before I get started on the countdown, um, this, as I said, was my first iteration. Okay, I said there may be changes. I have added a major scoring criteria in. Now, of course, I will upload this inaugural list as is. Um, and then on BoxingLibrarian.com, when I finish this playlist, I will add the brand new updated top 100. Okay, some fight has not changed, others have moved up a lot, some down a lot, um, but I think it's more refined now. So anyway, onto this countdown in 50th place is more recent heavyweight champion Alexander Yusik, who still hasn't done too much more at heavyweight. But of course, see him with the new criteria, he has dropped an amount too, but um, he will rise fight by fight and we'll see where he ends up in the passage of time. Yusik beats six champions, um, no Hall of Famers. He's had nine title fights in his career, obviously. Most of them not a heavyweight. He's had seven title defences, five unified title fights, nine fights against top 10 fighters, and Usyk has scored 13 knockouts. Now, Usyk has been top 10 rated as a fighter for seven years, a number of those years at heavyweight now, um, and Alexander Usyk has won seven world titles, again, a number of them at heavyweight. This new scoring criteria, I was umming and adding whether to add it in the first place, and I didn't, okay, and I think it's an important one, um, you know, and I've added it, and it's changed it around, and I think I think especially the top 40 is now stronger than it was okay but you'll see that on boxinglibrarian.com so anyway on to uh, heavyweight number 49 is Michael Mora um, another fighter like Yusik who moved up from a lower weight uh, where Mora was a destructive punching light heavyweight champion and the inaugural WBO light heavyweight champion Mora beat four champions in his career he beat one Hall of Famer uh, Michael Mora had 17 world title fights he made 11 title defences and Michael Mora did have three unified title fights he also won and lost with Evander Holyfield um, pictured um, which is no slight really winning the first fight losing the rematch of course uh, when Holyfield gained revenge and reunified for the latest time. Uh, Mora had 13 fights against top 10 fighters. He scored 40 knockouts in his career, and Mora was top 10 rated as a fighter for 10 years, and Michael Mora, um, across the weights he titled in, won a total of five world titles. Some people still argue the WBO won a title back then, so I say, how many title defences did Joe Calzaghe make? They say over 20. I'll say, no, he didn't. He actually made four or five, if you don't count the WBO. So which is it? Which way are you going? <laughs> uh, number 48 is Jess Willard he's dropped also in the new range Jess Willard beat one champion he beat one Hall of Famer Jess Willard had three world title fights and he made one title defence and Jess Willard of course had three unified title fights now Jess Willard is a pre-rating era fighter um, only has two here Fights against top 10 fighters with asterisks added. He had 20 knockouts scored in his career and he was top 10 rated for zero years again, being a pre rating era fighter. Um, Jess Willard won one world title. Jess Willard, okay, the giant um, destroyed by Dempsey ended the long title reign of the first black heavyweight champion, Jack Johnson. Undoubtedly, um, could be a handful due to his size, but you know, like he showed against Dempsey, against a mobile, swarming, aggressive fighter, um, you know, he took an absolute pace in. How he got even took round, he got to in Dempsey fight, I don't know, after that first round. Um, but, heavyweight number 47 is Deontay Wilder. Wilder has moved up with a new rating adjustment. Deontay Wilder um, has beaten two world champions, okay, um, Stavern and Lyakovic, not exactly the greatest amount. Uh, and he's beaten certainly no Hall of Fame fighters. Uh, Deontay Wilder has had 13 world title fights. He has made 10 title defences. And Deontay Wilder has never had a unified heavyweight title fight um, to this day. Now, Deontay Wilder has had 11 fights against top 10 rated fighters. And someone questioned me on that once. And I said, well, think about it. Fury three times, Ortiz twice, Stivern, Brazil. You know, they do add up. Uh, Wilder scored 42 KOs in his career. Um, he's been top 10 rated um, for 10 years as a heavyweight. Now he's hit the decade club. Um, and Deontay Wilder won one world title. So, the Bronze Bomber, you know, um, is still active. Any further work he does um, in his career will be added to his tally. Um, and, of course, in a year or two's time, we'll see where he can place then on BoxingLibrarian.com. So, heavyweight number 46, okay, is Gumbo Smith. Okay. Now, everyone, you know, no one come for him. I'll come for you. 
I'm joking. Gumboat Smith beat six world champions and Gumboat Smith beat five Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Gumboat Smith had no world title fights, um, had no thus title defences and zero unified title fights. And Gumboat Smith is a pre-rating era fighter. He has a tally of 11 fights against top 10 rated fighters. That number would be sky high um, because Gumboat Smith fought pretty much a who's who of almost everybody. Uh, Seb Jap Johnson, he lost out on that chance due to being DQ'd against Carpentier, but he fought pretty much everyone else. Uh, Gumbo Smith scored 38 knockouts. Um, he was top 10 rated for zero. He is, of course, pre rating era fighter. And Gumbo Smith, with no world title fights, okay, won zero world titles. But Ed Smith, yes, yeah, certainly a well travelled um, fighter who fought, like I said, a who's who of everybody. So on to heavyweight number 45, okay, it is. Two-time heavyweight champion Chris Bird. Chris Bird beat four world champions. Um, Chris Bird um, scored two, beat two Hall of Famers, sorry. And Chris Bird had eight world title fights. Bird made four title defences and he had a total of zero unified title fights. Now, Chris Bird, OK, had 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters and he comes in with a total of 22 um, knockouts in his career and Chris Bird was top 10 rated for a total of seven years. Now, Chris Bird won two world titles and interesting fact about Chris Bird is he was a two-time heavyweight champion and both times he lost those heavyweight titles he won, he lost to the same man, now Hall of Famer Vladimir Klitschko, who is way higher on the countdown. But just an interesting point, he became a two-time champion and both times lost it to Vladimir Klitschko. So there is Chris Bird in number 45. Let us jump on to heavyweight number 44. Okay, um, former coloured heavyweight champion Denver Ed Martin. Denver Ed Martin... Beat a total of four world champions in his career. Um, he beat one Hall of Fame fighter. And fighting for the coloured titles, Denver Ed Martin had a total of eight world title fights. He made four title defences and he had zero unified title fights. Uh, Denver Ed Martin had one fight against a top 10 rated fighter, albeit he was a full pre-rating era fighter. Um, and he scored a total of 16 KOs. Now Denver Ed Martin, of course, was top 10 rated again, pre-rating era fighter. So he was top 10 rated for zero years. He fought long before all the ratings came around and Denver Ed Martin won one world title. Denver Ed Martin of course was you know at his best from the early 1900s um, on of course he fought Jack Johnson for the coloured heavyweight title he fought a whole number of other fighters very tough resume um, very very good fighter indeed. So, there is Denver Ed Martin in 44. Let us go on to heavyweight number 43, who has dropped a bit with the rating adjustment. Uh, it is the rubber man, Johnny Risco. Johnny Risco beat eight world champions. Uh, Johnny Risco beat seven Hall of Fame fighters. Yes, he beat seven Hall of Fame fighters. <laughs> uh, Johnny Risco had no world title fights. He made zero title defences and he fought zero unified title fights. But Johnny Risco fought a who's who. Okay, Johnny Risco has a super tough resume when you look. Not only the Hall of Famers and the Champions, but the top contenders he fought, top to bottom. He comes in with a staggering 72 fights against top 10 fighters. Johnny Risco scored 22 KOs. And Johnny Risco um, was top 10 rated for a total of six years. Johnny Risco also won zero world titles. So Johnny Risco is in number 43. Okay, let us go on to heavyweight number 42. I'll have a quick drink. Let's go to a giant from his time, okay, heavyweight number 42 from Italy it is Primo Carnera. Now, Primo Carnera beat four world champions in his career and Carnera um, beat four Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Carnera had a total of four world title fights. He made two title defences and Primo Carnera um, had zero unified title fights. Against top 10 fighters, Primo Carnera did come in with a total of 28 um, and in KOs, he's a big knockout puncher, scored lots of knockouts, comes in with a massive 71 KOs. Carnera was also top 10 rated um, for a total of seven years all in all and Primo Carnera won one world title. It is interesting with rating adjustment as well. What has happened to the current active, like big four, should we call them? Uh, well, the big three are big four. You scan for heavyweight too long, even though he's done quite a bit there already. But, you know, Fury, Wilder and Joshua in the rating adjustment on BoxingLibrarian.com. Very interesting what happens there. <laughs> They're actually quite close. Um, right, heavyweight number 41 to close out this video and then we're into top 40 tomorrow. Okay, it is 
the outstanding Billy Misk. Billy Misk beat five world champions and four Hall of Famers. Billy Misk had one world title fight, made zero title defences and had one unified title fight. And Billy Misk, even as a pre-rating era fighter, had 20 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Uh, Billy Misk scored 34 KOs. Um, and as a pre-rating era fighter, he was top 10 rated for zero years. And Billy Misk won zero world titles. Billy Misk was a great fighter and I, uh, it touches me the story where he had that final fight and produced a fantastic performance to win. Okay, so he could get that final money to have a final Christmas with his family. Um, and within days um, after Christmas, he passed away. But he did get the money and did have that final great Christmas um, with his wife and family that he desired. Great, great fighter too, Billy Misk. There's my latest 10. Into the top 40 tomorrow we go. I'm out. <laughs>